Yeah, there's... actually, yeah, that's something I wanted to bring up. Like, how can you read your chat in VR? Do you take your, your headset off to read chat? How does that work? There's multiple programs. Mm. Uh, there's one free that I use. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, he actually has a Twitch mo- uh, staff, Git. He's the one who created the IRL backpack. He also created a Twitch VR mod where you put okay. it in there and you can just flip your controller and you see chat. Is that the um, open VR chat? That is correct. Yeah. So it's kind of like it's, it's a plugin. You have to uh, install it into the plugins for the Vive, I think, if, if I remember rightly. Um, when I first started doing the Vive, the apps were only just being made, so they would always crash every now and then. Mm-hmm. But now they're really stable. They work really well. And like Daniel said, it's as simple as it doesn't, it's not in your way. It doesn't ruin the experience. You just turn your control around. Like you're looking at a wristwatch on the inside when you want to read the chat and then it disappears and if you turn it back. That so sounds great. Perfect. Yeah, that seems pretty handy. It is. And if <laughs> I you feel like any- that, I was going to say, like, I feel like that was what was holding VR streaming back the most was like yeah. the lack of chat interaction. Yep. But it's now becoming a very easy thing because it's now being accessible in all games like not every game allows it it's a plugin again but mostly every game especially major games uh allow that plugin and it's free so you just put it in bada bing bada boom you get to read your friends and all that stuff 